In March, sports retailer Decathlon and the Institute of Studies for the Integration of Systems, or ISINOVA, combined forces to successfully redesign the EasyBreathe line of underwater snorkels so that they could be used in hospitals all over the world. ISINOVA is now offering its innovation to the 3D printing community, having released full instructions and a video demonstration so that others can convert the snorkels into emergency ventilator masks. One organisation to get involved is UK-based The Challenge Academy Trust. Uh, what we've been doing is we, we recognised the developing pandemic, uh, the coronavirus pandemic, and we'd seen that makers in Italy were producing uh, a CPAP type mask using um, a decathlon, a standard decathlon diving mask. Um, obviously it forms a, a, a shield, a, a firm seal around the face, and where the snorkel would go, we'd 3D printed a device to allow it to connect to a hospital oxygen supply. Um, this allows the um, part of the coronavirus disease means that uh, your alveoli in the lungs start to collapse. The pressure that has allowed uh, the oxygen is flows into the lungs allows or prevents those uh, alveoli from collapsing and stops a patient deteriorating to the point where they would need a ventilator. We started with about four 3D printers and a team of two staff and then we've developed and pulled more people in and as we've as social media has kind of spread we've now got about 20 uh, 20 to on-site 3d printers and about 10 in satellites working to produce the valves and also to produce the face shields the ppe provided to frontline nhs workers so we've made about 100 of these up to now um, and decathlon have agreed to supply the mass directly to the nhs trust we're working with the greater manchester critical care which has 11 intensive care units across greater manchester uh, and these are going out and more of these are going out and uh, being you know part of the research and development process these uh, uh, consultants are looking at the product and looking at um, how best to implement it in in the kind of growing crisis that we face as a country